All right, so I hop back on here because we're doing, we're it, this, it, we're we're fucking on our way to South End. We are about to start marching through South End. I encourage anybody who wants to participate and make a bigger statement than we've been making over the past seven days to come out and march as we march through South End. You see all these people at Unknown Brewing looking like they have no idea what's going on. Probably a little tone deaf. It's finally being brought down here. We're finally walking through South End. I've never, I've never seen a protest in South End. See, we're at Unknown Brewing, right at the edge of South End. Section of Lincoln and Main Street. See you in a couple of months. None of y'all might be crying because it might be one of y'all family members. Understand it was a whole white man that got knocked down by a police officer that got his head busted open a night ago. So again, it don't disaffect the black people. It affects white people too. And y'all see it right now because y'all see all of us out here. We're finally in South End. city is way off in the background. We're walking through South End now. We just passed by on Numb Brewing. Thank you. First time that we've left the city since Beatty's Ford Road and since Myers Park. Here, you tell him. Bike squad, assemble. <laughs> we need the bike squad out here. We've got a lot of intersections that the group needs protection through. So if you're part of the bike squad, Greg's looking for you. We're about to walk onto Summit Avenue in a developed area of town full of white people. They're trying to bring their message across different communities.
So we're at the intersection of Summit and Mint Street, Summit Avenue and Mint Street, South End. We're right next to Bardo and former Max and Lola Bodega, now 1501 South Mint, taking a kneeling protest. The group's getting bigger. Come join us. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. The hype man. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. No Trump, no KKK, no racist USA. No Trump. It's the first first time first time the march has gone down into the south end area. Bringing the conversation across communities. We're at Summit and Mint Street right now, that intersection, Summit Avenue and Mint Street. But we're not going to be here long. Trying to get people at the businesses who are just recording and taking pictures to come walk with the crowd. taking a left we're actually going uh, we're going east on Summit Avenue now uh, we're not continuing straight oh fuck we're walking uphill Just 
this, we walked out of the city yet. Sure, I just saw somebody go lock the door at that business there. Say her name! Say her name! I don't know what these people are afraid of. Say his name! I just want to record it and don't want to walk. What do we want? it? What do we want? So we're at the intersection of Church and Summit, South Church and West Summit Avenue. It's the furthest we've walked out of the city. We're in South End. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No racist! No peace! No racist! No Trump! No KKK! No racist USA! 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 Walking back toward the government center. We're right here at Wooden Robot. No, yeah, we're gonna go straight. We're walking past Wooden Robot Brewery on Summit Avenue. Making our way back toward Tryon. Then we're going back to the government center. For all those people that keep complaining about uh, the protesters not social distancing, look at them. They're not social distancing either. and head north on Tryon. 
Head north on South Tryon. Hey, Joe. No It's not a photo op, it's a movement. Yeah, man, how are you? by the new multi mixed use development here, the rail yard. Walking by Bland Street, South End Station, Gin Mill, Amos's, Charlotte Beer Garden up there on our left. It's the first time that the protest has made it into South End. Non-stop, brother. We're about to be at the intersection of Tryon and Bland.
promised to us and never got it. We never got it. And it's still going on. He loses our lives for no reason. That's why we marching, y'all. That's why we marching. Woo! Woo! So here's my take on the people on the patio at North Italia. When they walk up, they go, Woohoo! How long do you think the bruschetta is going to take to get to here? <laughs> What's up, man? How are you? That's just me talking shit, though. That's <laughs> just me talking shit. I was saying everybody on the patio at North Italia is like, Woohoo! When do you think our bruschetta is going to get here? Well, uh, they just walked in. I got a tent seat and just walked in. You know, I'm firing as fast as I can, but I'm backed up in the shitty crib. <laughs> hey, where did you want to pop that <laughs> So, I'm staying at the intersection of Bland Street and Tryon. We're walking back toward the government center. We're going down Tryon to get there. part of the bike squad here providing security The Jesus Saves guys around here somewhere. They love your energy, man. That's the hype, man. He's all about it. For anybody talking shit about the protesters not social distancing, just look at all the people. Just look at them all. So it's not just these. It's not just these groups of people. They're gonna take a knee at every large group of people that comes through at, that we uh, walk by. Take me with the 
It's a moment of silence, so. <laughs> toward the city. We're on our way to the government center where we started. So we're, uh, we're at Tryon and Carson, heading back toward the government center. Thank you. I appreciate that. Taking a knee at the intersection of Trade and Carson. Still witnessing history. See more people joining from the back who don't look like they planned to be here so that's really nice 
I feel like just walking through the area was impactful. High energy. <laughs> Trashman Johnny, the most popular oh, trash man in the city. He likes Joe Bruno more than me. I think I want to start showing you some of the people that have been out here almost every day, um, just as I come across them. Took it to South End. Yep, took it to South End. This is one of them. This guy's been out here most most every day. We met up a couple of nights ago before we got uh, separated from the group of that bridge, as everybody marched over toward Moorhead Street. And, we saw them come running out of the tree line, shooting at us and whatnot. Finally took it to South End. Hey, how are you? It's good to see you. I'm a landlord out here. <laughs> I gotta pay you rent. <laughs> So we got some stragglers joining. when the groups converge. We're at the intersection of Tryon and Carson walking back toward the city. So we're heading north. We're on our way to the government center where we started. Yeah, DeMarco's out here.
sleep standing up. If you guys want to contribute to my rent payment, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop you. My uh, my Venmo is just at J La Francois. I'm not gonna pin it though. If you know how to spell my name, you should be able to figure it out. It's just at J La Francois. Uh, it's been a. Uh, it's been uh, 67 miles. So I don't know how many steps, but 67 miles. Uh, we are walking down Tryon toward Moorhead. My Venmo is at J La Francois. It's just J and then my last name. If you guys want to pay my rent, I'm not gonna stop you. Yep, 67 miles. Put it in the comments. <laughs> so we're at Tryon and Moorhead, walking back into the city from South End. First time we've taken the protest to South End. We're on our way back to. Uh, we're on our way back to the, uh, um, the, what's it called? The fucking, uh, fucking, uh, the government center. We got another group joining. Another group coming in. This guy is ruthless, relentless. A couple of stragglers with their hair. Group is growing. Sun's going down. We're at the intersection of Tryon and Moorhead. I'm not removing inappropriate comments. If somebody wants to make a fucking ass out of themselves, they can go for it. I just suggest uh, if you find a racist to expose them, so. Let them do their thing and then you do your research. 
Oh, shit. Back up toward Uptown, we're on Tryon Street, crossing this bridge that takes you from South End into Uptown uh, towards Stonewall Street. So we're leaving South End. Groups growing. What's up, man? Hey, hey how are you? It's good to see you. I saw that little video that you did the other day. That was great. Yeah, hopefully it helps. Everything helps. We have everything that happened over the past five days has helped. We haven't seen, you know, they're they're, they're using different tactics and how they help. Uh, keep the flow of traffic like cars away from the group like they're just you can't see them up in the distance it feels more humane yeah <laughs> yeah this is Spivey he's a, he's a local filmmaker he does great work you can follow him at Spivey S-P-I-V-I-E-Y on Instagram uh, once the world starts to open back up we've actually got a collab project that we're working on together uh, with the city of Charlotte that uh, if you guys want to, you're going to stick around and follow us because I feel like we have a very personal relationship now, but you're going to love it. It's live music in public places. That's all I'll say right now. I won't spoil it for you. It. It'll be really cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Captain Brad's always out here walking. Have fun. Wow, that was the first time I didn't say be safe. I said have fun. Were you out on Friday? You were? No, yeah. We yeah. No, it's a different division, so yeah. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talk about new normal. Oh, it's six o'clock. Gotta go march. Turn on right on Stonewall, heading east, headed back toward the uh, government center. Walking past the Harvey B. Gantt Center. It's a museum for African American arts and culture.
I don't know how popular you usually are, but you're very popular on my live feed. <laughs> you're really not that popular. <laughs> <laughs> but you're only Captain Brad, because I keep, I just say your name all three ways each time. <laughs> hey, you, that guy. <laughs> So we're at the intersection of Stonewall and College. We are continuing straight. So we're still heading east. We are approaching Novel Stonewall Station, where you saw on that Sunday, we were kind of led into the parking structure there uh, when they bust in riot officers and started shooting at us with pepper balls and hit me in the back of the leg. keeps getting bigger. We're at the intersection of South College and Stonewall Street. I think that uh, after all the exposure throughout the weekend and uh, showing how tensions can rise when the police officers are close to the group, that I got to give it to CMPD. I think they're setting an example for an appropriate way to keep traffic away from a crowd without impeding the flow of the protest, uh, causing, causing the tension levels to stay low, therefore eliminating violence. Oh, okay, hey Chelsea. Yeah, I gotta give it to CMPD. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm proud that the the people out here on the ground, especially uh, Captain Brad, props to him. Uh, he's worked hard to keep the officers at a block and a half to two block distance kind of let the group police themselves um, essentially eliminating the possibility of violence as we saw last night last night was the first night without a single incident Trash Man Giant don't even play around with the inlines. Mm -hmm. These are the 4 by 4s 4 by 4 quads, baby. <laughs> quads. You can do your little tricks. You can't really do tricks like that on an uh, on inline skates. At least to me. I, I can't do no tricks. Your feet got to be killing you, though, right? Oh, my feet was in fucking suffering pain last night. <laughs> I went home. I took a nice cold shower. Rejuvenated my feet. And I fell my ass to sleep. I was ready to be done with at 1 o'clock. <laughs> it ain't easy keeping the city clean. Yeah, it's not easy. It's, hey, it's easy to do this. And so this I got some for you. Yeah. Oh. More than anything, they can make a swerve on you so fast. Well, he said that we're on our way back to the government center. Yeah. But he said that. Down there. Yeah. 
So who knows? Could have changed. You need to go past the government center and go straight to the jail. Yeah, love, love, love going jail to the jail. Support. Yeah, free jail support. <laughs> jail support. Jail support. What's up, So he was trying to block the route of that officer, and the officer said, you're going to get hit. Hey, what do you want? Are you on Facebook or... Uh, yeah, Facebook Live. Facebook Live. Yeah, because I was about to say, I've been trying to look for your live videos, man. Yeah, Queen City Nerve, bro. Queen City Nerve. Yep. Do all the uh, live videos stay on there for a whole day, or...? They stay on there forever. Okay. Yeah. I've got, I've got every minute from Friday at 6.15 p.m. till right now. Are you out there Friday? Yeah. Oh, man. So you probably caught a little bit of me out there too then, man. Probably. <laughs> not as the trash man, though. No, you're no getting, not with the trash man. You're getting, man. You're getting, wasn't boring just yet. <laughs> you're getting popular with that. Come on, man. So we're walking up to uh, Stonewall and Brevard. And that was, uh, that's that novel Stonewall Station where we got uh, pushed into that parking garage where they put the riot police out on us on uh, Sunday. So shooting pepper balls at us. Now they got a person to speak to you about the, um, the commanding people that's in, in uh, parking positions. But I see you was asking about it yesterday. Yeah, I got to talk to a lot of people. Um, Right now, I'm, I'm working on scheduling a sit-down with the chief to ask him about the tactics that they've been using out here against everybody. So, we'll see. All right, then. I definitely want to know that, man. Yeah. Post that one on YouTube. Oh, for sure. Uh, so, right now, I'm working on compiling every day, like, all of the videos in progression, but, like, just take all the important parts edit them together and, and do like a like a mini documentary thing of each day so like day one day two day three okay. all separate videos oh, that's yeah so you'll be able to see everything that happened yeah. start to finish <laughs> section of Stonewall and Brevard, where we had that standoff the other night, where my buddy Ben came and run me out that charger when I was at 1%. So we've got a, hey, got a line of uh, bike cops up here. One place I don't want the group to go is the interstate. So, so if they want to turn right here, then we're probably going to see a problem. If we take a left, then it'll just be what it is.
crowd keeps getting bigger. We're at the intersection of Stonewall and South Caldwell Street. What's up, man? How are you? Have fun out here. Yeah, it was a good one. Yeah, um, I was, I was, I kind of, I started to laugh about when you and Christy and uh, Ky, uh, Ryan were talking about where y'all parked. Yeah, and I just thought about like it, you probably, uh, cre you know, that was probably one of the widest moments in the entire protest when you're like, no, no, not where you have my yeah, car. Please don't shoot my car. That was like one of the widest. I think that had to, that might be the widest moment in the protest. <laughs> yeah. Please not my car. Yeah. That was how Ryan didn't get gassed on 4th Street because he stopped to move his car while we were while we were walking up into that uh, into that him. ambush. Good for him. I know that was uh, awful. It was it nuts. Looked, it looked awful. It was nuts. Yeah, but I appreciate what you're doing. It's not, uh, it's not I'm sure it's taxing on you to be out here every night like this. Thank you. I appreciate Without it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. So the violence gives me a little bit more energy, you know, because you got to get like away red, from it. Like a red bull, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, the problem is, is that the peaceful stuff is more important than the violence stuff. So Absolutely. if I don't document that, then people don't get to see the good that happens. Greg. This is proof that uh. Yeah, I wasn't joking. <laughs> Uh-huh, yeah. Like, there's a few people that do dumb shit, but, like, that doesn't mean you need to call out the full riot gear. And, yeah. Uh, well, like, that's what I've been asking. I've been, I asked Putney today if he would, you know, at least make the, the um, I, I think the CEU officers should, should spend a lot of time training on the ability to remove individual people from the group. Yeah. Um, and even though he, he agreed, uh, I wouldn't say his answer was that fantastic, but he agreed. So, what do you think about Larkin's proposal? I don't think anything about city council's proposals. They're all just, uh, if, you, if you watch uh, Tariq Bakari post on the internet, oh, yeah. uh, then I just, I, city council can say whatever they want. Well, the whole idea of 8 can't wait, I think is good. I haven't even, see that's the other thing is, I haven't been able to see what anybody's doing just because I've been so busy with this and then trying to work during the day. So why don't you tell me about it? What is it? Basically, there's eight different things that if a police department does it, it reduces, it reduces police death by 72%. And it's, it's called 8, it's called 8 dot, what, 8 can't wait dot org, I believe it's the site, or dot com. And is it like about chokeholds and stuff yeah, like that? Holds, yeah. Uh, a duty to uh, intervene. Yeah. A whole, all different sorts of uh, things. That if, all, if they do all eight of these things right away. And so Larkin proposed that the city manager do a policy review to, to find policies that match that. Okay. Right? Might match those uh, protocols. Which that's a good thing. But he wants the city manager to do it. And it's almost like that gets back to the whole idea of the city, the city auditing itself. Which a lot of these city city council people feel caught off guard by what happened on Fourth Street because they've been investing all these millions of dollars yeah. into de-escalation tactics. So, yeah. So I don't know. Well, well, thing is, is like 
everybody can make whatever task force a new policy that they want and stuff like that but it's all about if it gets followed if people, if people stop getting injured and if uh, black people stop dying that, that's all i care yeah. about so well that if what happened to y'all on fourth street was against policy and it got caught on film then we'd be having a different conversation right now yeah right? but i talked to deputy chief estes about that and he said they were going to review to see if there was a clear path for us to exit there, there and was. there was yeah I mean, but uh, I've, already, I've talked to multiple people who were in that group with me who crawled under that fence with me who said it doesn't fucking matter that that was there because we were terrified to run in that direction they they shot tear gas for me from both sides so how is that clear yeah how is that safe nobody said hey, hey hey we want you to leave but just go over this way yeah they didn't and, even and, say we and, want and, you to leave and look, they I just said to, fuck I you to, I had to go back and look at that like three or four times. Yeah. That, that spot where you showed where it wasn't clear. I had to go back and keep looking at it. So, oh, I see the clear path. Yeah. Now. But I guess I was. that's easy for me to do from the comfort of my living room. Yeah, when you're sitting there, it doesn't <laughs> feel like that. Well, no, it felt, it was, I mean, when, yeah, when you're standing first, in there. No, even from the camera angle on the vantage point of seeing it the first time, it didn't look clear. Yeah. Right? But I had the luxury of being in my living room saying, I could rewind it. You can't really rhyme shit in real time, right? No, no way. Yeah, so... The amount of thoughts that were going through my head in that moment, not one of them was, can I leave that way? <laughs> I think it's bullshit that no one was shooting from... There's way too many uh, different accounts of people saying people were shooting at them from above. Well, yeah, and so... Uh, not just you. So Putney said that he hasn't been able to find proof of that yet, uh, and that if they do shoot from above, they're only allowed to shoot at walls... Uh, to which I have a video of a guy that got shot in the face. Well, they can be shooting at walls and someone can run into the line of fire, right? Yeah. Well, that's what somebody else tweeted is they were like, well, the only problem about shooting at the walls is between them and the wall was about 400 people. <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't know. Where's Christy though? Is she taking the night off to get ready to go uh, deal with Charles, some Charles, sort of Charles, You got Charles. Give it to me. No, she, uh, she's just waiting until it gets a little later. Oh. She, uh, you know, she's with the ACLU. She's not, she's not just yeah. an activist. She's a protector. Oh, yeah. So yeah. when she comes out here, she comes out here to make sure that people on the front lines, the closest to the officers, are safe. Yeah. Uh, I heard some information about uh, Larkin's proposal. I just think if they're going to even try to do this, yeah. an out, some outside entity that is expert on implementing these type of policies should be hired by the city to audit the totally. current policies. Totally. Because they trusted the police to tell them what they needed for de-escalation after 2016, and look what they got on Tuesday night. Yeah. Y'all got ambushed. Yep. Like it was a, <laughs> like a war, like a war, a war exercise. Well, somebody sent me another video today. Uh, from her perspective, oh. and you could clearly hear people. No, it wasn't. It was somebody else. Um, but uh, I mean, there were hundreds of people in there. But um, you could hear people screaming for help. Yep. Uh, it sounded like an absolute war zone with explosions going off all over the place, and yeah. the pepper balls being fired like crazy, and just I, I've been waiting for her to respond to me. I was asking if I could save it and share it. Yeah. And credit her because I can't just do that. Yeah. Yeah. So as soon as she responds to me and tells me, yeah, I'm going to be sharing that one too. Yeah. Because uh, nobody's going nobody's gonna to be able to deny what happened there that night. I, 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 way too many videos. They're, they're trying to gaslight. Yeah. But they got everybody. They got Jeff Jackson on it. I mean, you got all the city people on it. Like, you, I mean, you've got. Even though he's kind of full of shit, you even got Tariq Bakari somewhat concerned about what happened. Somewhat concerned about what happened. Which is a big deal for him. <laughs> yeah, it's and I'm most... like, no credit is due to that. He should be a lot more concerned. Than yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that it helped your paper raise some money, too. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been great. Um, super supportive. Yeah. Trying to figure out exactly how to use it. Um, you know, I don't. I don't like the idea of profiting off of the grief that the country has over the death of a black man. But I'm also trying to run an independent media company. 
can you use it to pay staff? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's gonna. It's all. It's all operating expenses. It's not. It's not my money. It's not yeah. Ryan's money. It's. It's our uh, company money. Like you can maybe create a special correspondence for these type of issues. Yeah. We will be. Uh, you know, it goes toward printing our paper and paying our freelancers and paying our employees and. Yeah. I know it's got to be a shoestring. It was a shoestring when it was when, with the other thing that I won't, the name that I won't mention. Yeah. Well, I mean, I had $150 in my bank account when we started the paper. Right. And we just spent every money, every dollar in is another dollar out. Yeah. You're getting dumped on. You're running getting dumped on. So I feel like, I mean, I can't speak for the oppressed, but it seems like you've earned the money. Yeah. For your paper. Your paper is earned the money. <laughs> You're serving the community well right now. So thank you. I'll let you get back to covering everything. I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. All right, we're back to the government center. We're at the intersection of 4th and South Davidson Street. It's a good long walk. Hey, Caroline. And Chrissy, and hey Ryan. <laughs> Welcome to the protest. <laughs> Wait, you got into it with who? He was on here and you were getting into it with him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck Tariq for what you said to Ray McKinnon. If you're watching, Tariq, I just want you to know. You can fuck off. Ray McKinnon is a hundred times the man you'll ever be. So just so you know. Yeah. Ray is a good, good man who does a lot for his community. All right, we are back at the government center. Walking up 4th Street. Doesn't look like we're stopping. Alright, so here's what we've seen so far tonight. The community discussion with local leaders was canceled due to the weather that never came. Uh, the, Justin, man, you're doing an awesome job out here. Thank you, I appreciate I it. So that, we, I watched that live on Tuesday about scared me half to death, man. Yeah? So you're doing a great job out here. Thank you, I was appreciate that. Was that the first that. time we, we met this walk through South End? What was that? Is, it, is this the first time this is walked through South End? Yeah, first time. Wow. Yep. Awesome. Keep it up, man. Thanks. So, uh, we showed up anyway. Uh, they were demanding that the elected officials come out to have the discussion. Braxton Winston came out, organized, uh, let off balloons for Breonna Taylor's birthday. That's why we're out here. Um, and then walked away. We marched through uptown a little bit to Romare Bearden Park. Uh, and then went straight to South End. Walked by Unknown Brewing, uh, Wooden Robot Brewery. The rail yard, North Italia, Charlotte Beer Garden, stopped the intersection of Moorhead and uh, Carson. Or, uh, no, or, we stopped at some intersections up there. We're back to the government center. Back to the government center. We're in front of the jail now, which is like the refueling station. We'll probably do a refuel here after another speech, chant, and kneel. And then I'll probably cut the live feed for a little bit after that. My man that kept all the peace last night, all of it. I'm bringing it back tonight. Yep. So that man kept all the peace last night. How are you? Good. Thank you.
Thanks for everything you're doing, Justin. Thank you, I appreciate that. Damn, I've been out here live streaming for so long now. Everybody's out here live streaming. I'm sorry, I lose viewers. That's all right, though. The more the merrier. Spread the word. Come join us. We're in front of the Mecklenburg County Jail on 4th Street right now. Yeah, yeah, South End is definitely a predominantly white neighborhood. It's uh, been developed and gentrified over the past five, six, seven, eight years. All right, so uh, I'm going to cut this for a minute. But you know me, I will hop back on if anything changes. I'm going to show you. But we'll be out here all night. Love you.